What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G-Maya's World and there are several things you should be doing right now on August 14th, 2019. Number one mainly is going to be house rules. I've already released the video which most of you guys have watched and you kind of understand what's going on with it. With this particular one, it's traditional college OT. We went over that whole situation so guys, if you're new to the channel, Feel free to go back to the most previous video, check it out, make sure you're getting your rewards. I'm gonna go after that, um, you know, go over that right now for you guys to make sure that everybody knows what's up. Some of you guys were having issues with knowing how much wins you had and things like that. You guys were also having issues with actually going into house rules. Now here's the catch. If you press it from this uh, screen right here and you go right here, you can see that it tells you right there in the description that I have 11 wins. All right, it's gonna tell you. I haven't been able to play it a lot, but my goal is to get at least 50. I would love to get 200, but we'll see how that works out. Now, remember, after you press it from this point, some of you guys were having some issues with actually getting into the game. If you can't load a house rules game from going from the main screen, what I'm gonna ask all of you guys to do during this time period, simply back out. Okay, I got numerous messages, Twitter, um, you know, uh, what is it, Facebook, people were asking about it, like everybody's asking, like I can't load house rules. Let me tell you something, it's, it's never gonna be a situation where only you are going through it unless it's absolutely your connection. Okay, so if that's happening to you, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna back out of all of this, you're gonna go over one to the play screen, then you're gonna go to head to head seasons, okay, and then you're gonna see it once you click on the regular head to head seasons uh, part, you're gonna click on that and then you're gonna go right here, back to school, and it'll be house rules, all right? So just so that you guys understand, many of you guys were telling me that you couldn't get in. I don't want you guys going through that. Um, so pretty much, you know, I put out, put my ear to the ground, figured out what was going on, and sometimes you have to go through this method to actually get into house rules. I don't believe this expires for another five days, so you guys have more than enough time to get those wins. And if you add it up, you're gonna be very, very close to getting yourself a Nat Von Miller or one of the collectibles for John Madden Coach with a thousand of the collectible uh, currency, all right? So that's one of the main things that I want you guys to be focused on, all right? The next thing that I want you guys to be focused on is this. There are gonna be continuous um, promos coming through. We don't know exactly what's gonna be happening next. Um, I am a Mutt level 50 now. Uh, I wanted to show you guys some of the things that I'm going to be plan you know, planning on doing. Um, the all pro packs are now in the store. There's different things available for you guys to be doing. Um, I touched on it briefly uh, with some other things that were going on. They have yet to, res uh, to reset the Elite Weekly Fantasy Pack. So what's going to happen is this, guys. You see like in two days, it looks like they're going to always be releasing it maybe on Fridays, I guess, for you guys to be able to do that. Um, the full legend pack, some of you guys were asking, like, is it worth it to do it? I'm absolutely gonna do it. I'm just waiting a little bit to see what our newer legends are gonna be uh, in order to kind of get a gist of it. And, um, you know, if it's really, really good, I'll do it now. If not, you know, LT is still in packs, but more than likely they're gonna give me something garbage. But again, I probably will do it sooner than later because I'm dead broke and you can see my coinage at the top. Very, very wild, bro. I got no ends, dog. I'm gonna have to probably, you know, don't worry about it. I got I got something for you guys. I'm gonna figure out, you know, the way to get some cash and um, we're gonna have to open up some packs and stuff like that. Now, remember what I was telling you guys about a lot of the things that are going on with the promos. They are available with training points. So what does that mean for you guys? I want each and every one of you guys, if you are able to, you know, no money spent players, whoever, you know, if you're buying packs, you know, you could probably do whatever you want with this, but if you're no money spent in particular, Please take the time out to see the value of these cards and making some of those superstars. You know, like these gold random players, take a look at that, uh, see what's going on with those type of things um, to see if you can really get lucky with it. The heavyweight players, there's some good ones. I just, you know, I'm gonna be pointing out some more information about it right now. Uh, I just want you guys taking advantage of some of the stuff that's going on uh, in the store. If you guys are able to get lucky and you get a you know a crazy pull that you want to quick sell for training be sure to utilize these things in sets all right you know make a couple of these try to complete another patrick mahomes etc etc try to make sure that you're continuously trying to build your team because everybody else is looking to take you out bro and that's pretty much what it is um i want you guys to make sure that you are double checking uh the the um the superstar daily objectives most of you guys like they reset it at a weird time I can't even figure out the time that they're actually resetting it, but I wanted to show you guys what's going on with it. You still have one more thing that you can get, and these are the 77 to 78 overall goals that can help you get more of the superstar uh, players done. 
okay? Now, and remember, these are auctionable. The only thing that's not is an 89 to 90 overall nat, um, you know, initially. And remember, the, it is also a nat that you get from house rules for 50 wins as well. I went over the whole situation with the nats because I, I can see now that a lot of the guys that are coming in, this is like their first year to month, and you guys are enjoying the channel, I wanna make sure that I give you all the information that's necessary. So, with that being said, a NAT card cannot be traded or auctioned. Plus, a lot of my veterans that you know watch my videos, they're in the comments as well, helping you guys out. It's a beautiful thing. So there should be no reason that you don't understand what's going on. No, I cannot answer every comment, but there are a lot of people out there that's gonna help you out, regardless in the comments. And, you know, if you got like instant questions that really need to be answered, they will be there for you. And I appreciate those guys that help to contribute to the community. So make sure that you guys are doing your superstar challenges uh, as of now, right? Now, I'm gonna go to my team and I'm gonna start showing you guys the kind of format that we are with, you know, that we're going with right now. Uh, recently, I went over some of the things that I noticed personally and I was able to show you guys live on Twitch. Now, for the members on YouTube, if you guys are members, uh, members, you'll see the join button on the bottom of this video. Members on, on like mostly, I try to stream at least three times a month on YouTube on the weekends to kind of give my members some insight into what I'm doing to build my team. If you are a member, you guys will be able to use my emotes, um, you know, all that kind of stuff during the stream. You get a globe during, you get a globe next to your actual username and you get the shout out as soon as you come into the stream. I see you, yo, there you go, what's good, let's go. And you get exclusive insight into what's going on with my squad by me answering your questions live during the stream. So those are some of the benefits that you guys get. A lot of you guys are really enjoying that because you got a lot of, it's a lot of questions that go on with Madden. It's a new Madden. People are trying to get over the fact that it's a lot better than 19 was. I still stand by the fact that I'm enjoying this game more than I've enjoyed Madden in the last five years. So yes, there's some fluke, there's some things that go on, but it's nowhere near as bad as 19 was. All right, so look, when we look at a lot of the things that are going on with my players, some of you guys are asking about, you know, g -Maya, what about secure tackler? You know, what's going on with that? You haven't put that on any of your linemen. You still have things going on with Tyreek Hill, um, you know, Patrick Mahomes and stuff like that. Let me kind of give you guys some insight, right? Patrick Mahomes bazooka, when he gets that, it's pretty much a cheat code. And I just want to point that out to you guys. If you don't have bazooka on Patrick Mahomes, you're doing it wrong. Let me explain to you why you're doing it wrong. All these other things that are happening, you know, Gambler Pro reads, all that stuff, like, it. look, I'm not really worried about any of that, primarily because, look, when you get Bazooka and you have a guy like Tyreek Hill on your team, it's going to make it very, very difficult for defenses to deal with you. Because if you get time to throw it, that excessive amount of uh, throw power, if their corner is lacking the speed, like for instance, Mel Blunt, right? Mel passed the Blunt. He gets Kem to like an 86. If you got Sprinter on him, he goes to an 88. He's still nowhere near Tyreek Hill. So if you get Tyreek Hill on the streak, and you know, pretty much I got streak specialists on Tyreek Hill as well. What are these other things? He, oh, he has anchored extender. Okay, yeah, I, bro, I don't care about breaking sacks. Like what else you got? Last ditch, no, I ain't doing that. All right, he don't really, safety valve? Nah, he ain't doing nothing. Roman Deadeye though? Okay, we, no, I'm about to do, nah. We're gonna have to see some red zone Deadeye right here though. But listen, like I was saying, if you have the bazooka and it's activated, you'll notice that the ball is laid out a lot further and Tyreek Hill is able to run to it. Now, when you look at your receivers, this is other things that you should be doing as well. It's a reason why I have streak specialists on Tyreek Hill. If you notice, when you put certain abilities on these players, they do wild, wild things. Now, with the streak specialist, he's more likely to, get, to catch the ball in the streak, number one, and he runs the streak a lot better. So you'll notice that even if a guy is like hovering over him, they'll do what they have to do to kind of get him in front you see what I'm saying? But he's still a shorter guy. So if you're playing against taller corners, they still will be able to click on and then, you know, probably intercept the ball. But with Bazooka, when you get that extra 15 yards of throw power, he's getting there. He's getting there to the ball. That's something that I noticed immediately. It, it was wild. These other ones with double moves, I don't really run double moves. And right now, you know, putting him on a post and stuff like that is kind of difficult because like he doesn't, uh, Mahomes doesn't get what Tom Brady's probably gonna eventually get with those, you know, being able to hot route everybody on the squad and stuff like that. So that can be an issue for a lot of us. So I would recommend that you guys start looking at your abilities, start to make sure that it does, cause I'm probably gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna leave the ability on Tyreek Hill. Cause like I said, we're gonna go touch on the lineman right now. All right. And this is a huge factor because 
With guys like me that blitz my entire team, my head coach and my cheerleaders, Secure Tackler will probably help a lot of you. All right, just remember, you have these abilities have to be activated. Okay, now, the whole situation with the way that this works, um, once you put it on this guy, right? Like say, say we wanted to put a uh, secure protector on Lane Johnson. You have to activate that ability. So we have to figure out what, you know, what are we taking stuff from? I told you that I really like the bazooka. Um, the realistic part about it is uh, Patrick Mahomes really does throw the ball very far, but you can definitely see a difference with the actual bazooka. So I like that. But what I'm noticing, I'm playing against more and more people that have secure protector on their, uh, on their linemen. And it is, it looks to be very, very important in this game. You know, like last year when you put Secure Protector on, it actually made the players come in faster? They don't do that anymore. Like they actually, you know, they they, they do stuff. Like they, they'll move around and, you know, figure out what's going on and they, and they do what they have to do. So it kind of works. And at this point, I can get two guys with Secure Protector. So it is possible that I could probably bring out two, like Secure Protector just to make sure that I don't get block shedded really quickly. Not only that, right? I can also just leave it like bam, bam, and then, and then put um, one of the abilities on um, Tory Holt, which is one of the major questions that you guys are asking about. G Maya, are you interested in you know upgrading Tory Holt to the point where you give him those four additional hot routes? Very, very good question. Very, 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 very good question. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, these four these route technician. Um, was that the route technician? It's the where is it? It's the, um, it should be over here someplace where he gets to get all of the routes. Um, no, that's the quicker slot, outside, outside apprentice, right? You get four additional hot routes when lined up outside. Now, I don't know all of the four hot routes, but I know that this will make him unbelievably uh, glitchy and it'll be able to beat a lot of the coverages that people are coming out with. So what I was thinking ideally is I would give him outside apprentice so that I know, I know he should be able to get a deep crosser out of this or a post he'll be able to get you know really really good routes and then make two of my old linemen have secure uh pass block you know secure pass protection that would kind of make you unstoppable in the passing game all right so we're going to be going over some of those things but i want you guys to start to take a look at it if you guys are not level 50 yet don't feel bad i just recently got it i'm there with you guys i'm trying my best with my schedule to you know to stay grinding and stuff and for those of you guys that are worried about it uh, for the most part, I don't really care as much about the X Factor abilities. I like the abilities because it's available every single snap. So for some of my players, you'll notice that they don't have Superstar X Factors. That's fine. That's intentional. And that's pretty much what it is. All right. So now that's pretty much what I want you guys to start looking at. Start to evaluate your team. Um, look at the house rules. Get those done. I would love for each and every one of you guys that watch this video to be super awesome and get yourself a free 89 to 90 overall player. Like, I would love to see that happen and you guys share it with me. You know, like, yo, bro, g -Mai, I got this free card. You know, like, yo, what's good? I want to see that. So please do yourself a favor and go out there and get that stuff done. And like I said, I don't even have any abilities on LT yet. I have nothing on them, bro. Like, it's crazy, but I'm probably gonna, you know, probably put edge threat on them, power specialist. I don't, I don't know, bro. Secure tackler. I don't care about that right now. But there's a lot of stuff going on. So again, superstar solos. Get those done. All right. Get all your uh, your free 77s. If you haven't yet got your free 89 to 90 nat from that, also, you're probably gonna be sitting on getting two free 89 to 90 overalls if you haven't already gotten a superstar one. Definitely do the house rules. Definitely start to evaluate your team. Definitely take a look at Linval Joseph as well. I have a full video uh, video detailing why that 93 strength and that 70 speed is next level for a D tackle. And re like he's, bro, probably, like I, not, even, not even probably, he's the best D tackle in the game right now. It, it, and I don't care what anybody else is saying about it, it doesn't matter, all right? So you guys let me know what's up. You got any other additional questions or comments, you know what to do. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, all at G Myers World. And I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.